station closing at the appropriate rate. Shapenko and uh, Parasild again will spend about 12 days on board the station filming the movie titled Challenge. The first time a movie has been shot in space. That uh, movie filming uh, will begin almost immediately. The uh, crew will have an opportunity for a uh, safety briefing, which is traditional after the welcoming ceremony coming up later this morning. But time is precious uh, to capture all the scenes that they plan uh, to film once on board the station. Most of that uh, shooting of uh, the film will take place in the Russian segment of the International Space Station. There will be scenes that will also will be, will be filmed in the cupola on the U.S. side of the International Space Station. The uh, two spaceflight participants, Parasild and Shapenko, are considered spaceflight participants, not expedition crew members, so they uh, will be escorted into the U.S. segment of the station when required under the terms of the agreements uh, between Roscosmos and NASA and the International Partnership. The operation is not illuminated anymore. Copy. So the uh, delta V is 5.54, so the burn value is 5.54, and we are monitoring the retrograde maneuver. Copy. The Soyuz uh, currently uh, conducting a series of so-called impulse burns. These are small mid-course correction burns of the Soyuz engine to fine-tune its path toward the International Space Station. Now the station is again in the center of the crosshairs, and uh, GSO in attitude flag uh, is on display, is confirmed. And there is our first view of uh, the Soyuz MS-19. The range is 1 kilometer 700 meters, and the range rate is... Less than uh, three hours ago, it was sat on the launch pad uh, at the Baikonur Cosmodrome, and now through uh, the wonder of orbital mechanics, it is approaching for a docking just two orbits later. Fast track approach uh, for Shkaplerov, Parasild, and Shapenko. Shapenko is board engineer number one, seated in the left seat. Shkaplerov, the Soyuz commander, in the center seat of the descent module, the center uh, most section of the three section Soyuz spacecraft. Parasild is on the right as board engineer number two. They are actually filming some scenes with handheld cameras. While on board for this approach, Novitsky and Dubrov are also shooting imagery that are that is part of the filmmaking process on board the International Space Station as the Soyuz moves into the final leg of its rendezvous for docking. Could you please? Make it in full full screen the image, because we are receiving the image of your input to display currently. Copy in work. 1.3 kilometers separating Soyuz from the International Space Station, closing at a rate of about four meters per second right now. So we are you can occasionally see uh, the engine firings from the Soyuz impulse burns, as they are called as the Soyuz hones in uh, to its target, which is the Rosviet module docking port on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the station. This view now from a camera on the Soyuz spacecraft, the engineering overlay showing uh, the data 
that is also being interpreted by the Russian flight controllers in Korolyov. So use just one kilometer away. Moscow. The Soyuz and the International Space Station currently crossing the equator, moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator at an altitude of about 260 statute miles. Good view from external cameras on the station of the Soyuz as it moves steadily towards its target on the Rosviet module. Breaking, confirmed, copy. The range is 900 meters and the range rate is minus 2.6, uh, 2.6, copy. We're about uh, three and a half minutes away from the start of the fly around by the Soyuz. The range is 800 meters and the range rate is minus 2.47. Copy. We have another memory card here. The range is 700 meters and the range rate is minus 2.4 meters per second. The Soyuz and the International Space Station now approaching the west coast of Africa. Five command uh, in order to work with AGC to improve the image quality. So, Moscow, uh, the operation uh, is confirmed. We confirm. Another one of the small uh, so-called impulse burns has been accomplished. The Soyuz on a true course for its docking to the Rosviet module. Docking is scheduled about 23 minutes from now. Uh, so the the image is clear, but not very sharp on the cold monitor. Uh, we are seeing, we see the same, we see the station. The range is about 500 meters, the range to the station, and the range rate is minus 1.6 meters per second. Copy. The range is 450 meters and the range rate is minus 1.5. Copy. Four hundred forty meters now separating the Soyuz from the International Space Station.
Soyuz uh, with an actress, a producer, and a veteran cosmonaut on board flying 260 miles over Mauritania. So stand by for fly around us three. Standing by. And the fly around is now underway at a range of about 400 meters. It's confirmed. The range is 390 and the range rate is minus one. All of the events right on the timeline. Everything going very smoothly to this point. Uh, that's a beautiful view. This is about a 60 degree fly around that will precisely align the forward docking probe on the Soyuz with the Rosviet module docking port. A few moments from now, uh, the Soyuz and the International Space Station will be flying just to the south of Casablanca. The range is 300 meters and the range rate is uh, uh, minus 0.56. Copy. Uh, monitor, uh, continue monitoring uh, the fly around and also uh, the K15 on display, uh, this final approach flag. Great view of the uh, Soyuz MS-19 flying over the Moroccan desert. Three hours since uh, the Soyuz launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Heading toward final approach for docking to the Rosviet module. Docking scheduled at 7.12 a.m. Central Time. Yes, one, Yulia. The range is 270 meters and the range rate is minus 0.4 meters per second. Copy, Astri. About halfway through the fly around that will precisely align uh, the Soyuz with the Rosviet module. There will be a very brief period of station keeping so that uh, Russian flight controllers in Korolyov at the Russian Mission Control Center can evaluate uh, the alignment of the Soyuz with Rosviet. Can you see it through the window? No, I cannot. I can only see something blinking. The Soyuz appears suspended over the textured desert of northern Africa. The range is just about completing its fly around. Minus point three. And uh, we are now approaching the docking port. Copy at three. So the circular search uh, is confirmed. 
uh, copy control the switching of course HL uh, final approach. Use HL course zero. Course one final approach flag. Uh, we are right uh, opposite the docking port of MRM one. The range is 210 meters, and the range rate is 0.14. So the Soyuz automated uh, rendezvous system locked on uh, to the station's automated rendezvous system. Keeping in cone. So I have breach out final approach flag, K-15, copy. The Soyuz and the International Space Station now flying over the Mediterranean. Copy. Astray, Moscow, uh, so uh, go to page 53, uh, switch on the floodlight, and uh, uh, you also can install the dissipating screen. Uh, copy, Moscow, I don't need the screen, and I'm ready to switch on the uh, Floodlight. Uh, so Moscow. The LED uh, fly around is not illuminated, and uh, station keeping flag is confirmed. I am activating the floodlight and go to page 54. Copy. And uh, at a range of uh, some 200 meters, uh, the Soyuz now has begun a brief period of station keeping. Uh, so go to display. Final approach. I am sending final approach from the rendezvous display. 14.58.45 is the time of the command uh, pre -chow. The LED is on. And the, GSO and the final approach command has been sent. The Russian flight controller is happy with what they're seeing. Final approach initiated. Soyuz 180 meters away. The range is 180, and the range rate is 0 0.87. Copy. The target is off by approximately one degree to the left and up. One hundred fifty meters now separating the Soyuz from its destination. Range is one forty. And we are seeing the dot. Soyuz now cro crossing the coast of northern Italy. Right, we're not receiving any video, so please report and provide a writing commentary. We're uh, in between satellites on our tracking and data relay satellite system. Should be regaining our downlink signal. 
from the International Space Station a short time from now. Everything uh, continuing to go smoothly. Eighty meters now separating uh, the Soyuz from the station. This video now from the Soyuz uh, over Russian ground stations. Astra MCC Moscow. The range is 70 meters, and I confirm the target is in the center of the periscope. The range rate is unintelligible and inaudible. The uh, Soyuz's Corps' automated rendezvous system locked on to the docking target on the Rosviet module, 64 meters separating the Soyuz from Rosviet. Range is 60, and range rate is 0 0.22. Copy. How do you copy us on um, VHF loops? Astray, MCC Moscow. How do you copy us? The range is 50. 0 0.18 is the range rate, and I, uh, we are to the left by one degree. Astray, how do you copy us? Astray, MCC Moscow. Moscow. I can you can see in the lower left-hand corner the values that are the key right now, just 46 meters separating Soyuz from the station, closing at a rate of just over one-tenth of a meter per second. And we see on the display that Moscow. Um, Astray, the comm is pretty ratty. And we are selecting course two on the panel. And how do you copy? We confirm that there is circular search. And Astrea, this is MCC Moscow. How do you copy us? And we confirm the fly around um, the ISS. Course 2 is um, on uh, the target, uh, is moving to the right. MCC Moscow. Astray, MCC Moscow, how do you read us? Astray, MCC Moscow, how do you copy? And final approach for course two is up and illuminated. The target is off to the left by about one degree. The crosshairs are aligned. Uh, Astray, MCC Moscow, how do you copy us? Astray, this is MCC Moscow, how do you copy? We, we read you loud and clear now. Wonderful. There was a dropout, so we didn't copy your last. But we are monitoring uh, the activation of Kurs uh, 2 system and final approach for the Kurs mode. And uh, please, uh, from the final approach uh, uh, display, send uh, the um, final approach enabled command. Copy in work. I am ready for the final approach command to be sent. Moscow, do you want me to send it? Go ahead. 
Send the final approach command. Done. Currently, the range is 70. We're off by one um, one um, degree, um, and the crosshairs I aligned, the range rate is 0 0.3. Uh, the target is in the center of the periscope. We copy all. Anton. Anton. Range is 60. Range rate is 0 0.25. Are you receiving uh, the video, Moscow? Yes. Anton, go ahead. If the range uh, is at 40 um, meters, uh, please, um, unintelligible, please switch automatically into RODK, uh, digital control loop, and uh, manual docking. Copy, uh, ra uh, range is 50, um, range rate 0 0.18, and I confirm that we see the docking node, the crosshair is aligned. As today, FYI, 15.19 is the um, sunset. Copy. The range is 45 meters. This is Mission Control Houston, 45 meters separating Soyuz from the International Space Station, still flying in under the automatic control of the Corps' automated rendezvous system. There was a brief pause uh, for a bit of a correction in the uh, orientation of the Soyuz to the Rosviet module docking port. Everything seems to be in order. So, range rate is 0 0.14. Uh, the um, offset uh, is about one degree, but the crosshairs are aligned and the target is in the center of the periscope. Slowly but surely closing in, now at a range of just over 30 meters away, closing at a rate of one-tenth of a meter per second. Astray, just FYI, we have 10 minutes of calm left. Copy. Range is currently 30 meters. And, yes, and I can firm that the uh, range is 30 meters, the range rate is 0 0.11, and we confirm that uh, Kurs second has uh, failed, and I am sending the RODK digital control loop command. Yes, it's all as we actually predicted. Uh, I am sending the RODK and I'm ha switch over to the manual controls, manual co control uh, approach and docking and um, go to page 60, go into page 60. How do you copy us? I see the ISS and I'm sw uh, jumping to page 61. Please proceed working for page 61. I am on page 61, Erodeka L1, digital control loop is illuminated. Anton. Do not even look at course. Just do it visually, everything visually. Copy. On input panel, KSP left uh, selected. On input right, I am switching to RODK digital control loop. 
This is Mission Control Houston with some uh, ratty data being acquired through the Corps' automated rendezvous system. Anton Shkaplerov has now taken over manual control of the flying of the Soyuz for the final few meters prior to docking. Yeah, copy. I'm selecting the power thrusters selection. Car one is illuminated. Car one is illuminated. I'm deactivating gear six. Confirm. Gear six is um, sent. We uh, don't have a uh, wide angle, uh, narrow angle. Um, a lens illuminated. I am verifying the um, hand controller test up, down, left, right, clockwise, counterclockwise for translational hand controller. Successful. Translational hand controller is working up, down, left, right, uh, switch towards me, pulling towards me e and away. Uh, there is a little bit of jumping image uh, of when I'm doing the test. So, uh, station keeping. Station keeping complete. I'm not going to be uh, putting on an overlay display. AGC mode is uh, uh, not illuminated. The headlight is illuminated. Shkaplerov has conducted a quick uh, test of the hand controller on the Soyuz vehicle, manually flying the Soyuz in, uh, following some ratty data on the core's automated rendezvous system. Uh, he has defaulted under the direction of the Russian flight controllers to a manual approach. It's okay. It's all good. The target is to the right and up. There will be a pretty radicom. Yes, and it's within one degree. How are you? I'm all right. This is Julia. And it's going to come up in uh, 1535. That's when we're going to get the comeback. Okay, copy. And uh, the target is in the center of the uh, periscope, so please provide us. The docking node is off by 1.5 squares, and the range is about 45 meters. Shkaplerov uh, took over manual control of the flying of the Soyuz after the Corps' automated rendezvous system had guided the Soyuz and its three occupants in uh, to a distance of about 75 meters. There was some ratty communications and some ratty data that was observed from cores. So Shkaplerov was directed by the Russian flight controllers to take over manual control of the flying. There was a brief period of station keeping once again, and now everything appears to be in order with the uh, docking target aligned with the crosshairs on the external camera of the Soyuz vehicle. But uh, you should be able to see it already with the headlight. I can see everything really well. Uh, the station is in the center of the uh, periscope. I can uh, the crosshairs are aligned, and the range is about 40 minutes. Uh, I am uh, check. I have the input panel uh, enlarged uh, to full screen. Just 35 meters separating Soyuz from uh, Rosfied. You can see the docking port almost in the center of the crosshairs. And currently the docking uh, uh, 
node is uh, a little bit off about 1.5 squares, and uh, we are at 20, 30 meter range and performing the station keeping. Station keeping is complete. We copy. Uh, on uh, once you are ready, uh, approach to the range of three meters. I am ready. Please verify that SSVP is ready. Uh, five SSVP is not. The seven, seven is illuminated. The nine is illuminated. The thirteen and seventeen are all illuminated. Copy. I am proceeding. Uh, please check S11. S11. You are working for page 62. S11, I see it. S11 is illuminated. I am uh, prepping uh, translation of hand controller pulse mode. Anton, we have very little time left. Uh, and uh, the range is about uh, 25 me meters. So please do not forget about... Uh, um, a three meter range. Copy. Well, and after that, just as you train for, you'll be fine. We'll be passing out of range of Russian ground stations momentarily, but the direction to Anton Shkaplerov is to continue to push in manually towards docking, about 25 meters separating Soyuz from the Rosviet module. Anton, go ahead. Even if Please proceed with the final approach and docking, even if we don't have any calm. On Veska, we are off by three squares. We are in the um, at about 20 uh, meter range, and I sense unintelligible. Copy. Anton, one minute till uh, sunset. We copy. Proceed, provide running commentary if you can so that we could try and listen in. R5, Romeo 5, is that one? Yes, that one. Soyuz uh, and the International Space Station flying over eastern China, moving from northwest to southeast. Soyuz about 18 meters away from docking, being flown manually by the Soyuz commander Anton Shkaplerov. The target is off by 1.5 squares. Anton, please do not forget to deactivate the translational hand controller and the ROTK after the probe detraction. ROTK digital control loop should be off after the um, uh, probe retraction. And uh, we are going to get come back at 35 minutes. Correction, COM is going to be back at 15.36.
Well, God be with us. Good luck to us. Guys, what's the range? Astray, what is your range? Do you want me to deactivate it? Astray, come in. This is MCC Moscow. I'm standing by for contact. Uh, you sent the... Um, so we confirm a mechanical connection, mechanical capture confirmed. And uh, we confirm depot thrust activation is not illuminated. Uh, translational and rotational hand controllers are not illuminated. We are. Um, we confirm that the docking me mechanism is engaged. Astray, MCC Moscow, go ahead. We are continuing. Uh, Erolaka, we are. We no longer have the Rodeka digital and analog control loops illuminated. Uh, don't forget about Gulf 4 command and so on. And this one is not illuminated. Uh, the probe is retracting. V Victor 9 is not illuminated, and we are on the final approach display. All right. Uh, this is Mission Control Houston. Uh, Anton Shkaplerov uh, reporting a mechanical capture or docking occurring at 7.22 a.m. Central Time, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time. The docking probe in the process of being retracted. Command descent. Victor 8. We did not have uh, downlink television, and we had choppy communications at the time of uh, docking, which now is confirmed 7.22 a.m. Central, 8.22 a.m. Eastern. Skip anything, so we didn't need to um, deactivate the translational hand control and then uh, Pulse mode, uh, then you need to deactivate Erodeka mode. Erodeka digital control uh, um, mode is off. Uh, BIOS L8 command, L8 sent and agreed. It's not eliminated. Let's check. And then this one, V9, V9. Which one? Okay, we already did that. We did have it. So let's check the KDO parameters. Everything is nominal, and we are jumping on two, three, five, seven. Copy. Well, hold on. I'm leafing through, and we are sending the R7 command, R7, switching to the wide angle lens. R7 command is sent. All right. Once again, uh, docking occurring at 7.22 a.m. Central Time, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time, Anton Shkaplerov flying the Soyuz manually in for a docking after some uh, communications issues uh, occurred uh, with the Corps' automated rendezvous system that uh, prompted the Russian flight controllers uh, to have uh, Shkaplerov fly in manually. Again, contact and capture occurring at 7.22 a.m. Central, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time, as the Soyuz and the International Space Station flew 260 miles just to the north of the Philippine Islands. Start and start. And start confirmed. Oleg or Piotr, how do you read me? Nice. So, 15.25, that's the time. And we can start the timer. We need about 5, 15 minutes. Between and then we can deactivate TVS system, TV video system on in pool panel two and in panel up in panel to that we'll be verifying the uh, checking out the compartments and then deactivate the TV. Astray MCC Moscow, get four. Uh, don't forget about get four. They mentioned that to us. All right, get four. Uh, TV is off. TVS, right? Is that the TV? Yes. And let's now uh, send the GIF for deactivate command. It was illuminated and now turning it off. De Delta 4. Uh, now switching over to display. Station, how are you doing, guys? 
Uh, Anybody? Do we need any measurements? Um, no, no, no. They are going on in the background. Don't worry about that. And at CVS, Oleg, how do you copy us? What was uh, the um, capture time? Monitor it here. Piotr, could you tell us the time of contact? Astrea, MCC Moscow. I was trying to take pictures from the GA. Well, just an approximate. Oh, it was about five minutes ago. Around 20 or 22. No, not earlier than that. Astrea, MCC Moscow. S13, let's verify. S13 is illuminated. Hoops are open. D17 is not illuminated. D D Delta 15 should be illuminated. Illuminated. Confirm. Latches. D Delta 13 are not illuminated. Okay. Delta 11. D11 is illuminated. Um, SM probe not illuminated. All right. Good. Golf 11. Let's move over to there. And then we'll be standing by. Maybe we'll get the comb back. A three MCC Moscow, so two course sets failed. Yeah, we didn't like it either, you know. So both both failed. So can we start doing unintelligible? Not yet. Anton, so should we check uh, the probe D17, D15? I have already checked that. Now we are standing by for the 11. Once it is illuminated, as three Moscow, so the repress is on. Moscow, as three one, how do you copy me? We copy you loud and clear. How do you copy us, Anton? Anton. So, you know, I cannot hear you very well, Piotr. So, you know, on space to ground one, the, the com is not stable. This is Piotr. Okay. So, all right. So, I will have to deactivate the repress. All right. We are standing by for day 11. This is Mission Control Houston. Confirmation has been received uh, that the hooks are now closed, forming a hard mate between the Soyuz and the Rosviet module on the Earth-facing side of the International Space Station. This is Moscow. How do you read me on Space to Ground 1? Uh, did you call me? Did somebody call me? The 11 is on. Once again, uh, some unexpected communications issues in the home stretch of uh, what had been a clean and flawless rendezvous by the Soyuz following its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The final approach uh, took a bit longer than usual as Anton Shkaplerov took over manual control of the flying of the Soyuz for the final few meters. Uh, Station keeping at one point, aligning uh, the Soyuz docking probe with the Rosviet module, finally pushing in on final approach for contact and capture at 7.22 a.m. Central Time, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time. 30.45 is the time. Uh, no, 15.31 to be more well, exact. So SSBB is deactivated as one on both display. A three Moscow. Also, the uh, log record, Oleg. So it took a few extra minutes, but uh, Russian actress Yulia Parasild, her producer-director Klim Shapenko, Soyuz commander Anton Shkaplerov are now safely uh, engaged at the International Space Station. The uh, docking probe is in the process of retracting. Hooks are closed. And leak checks will begin a short time from now that will lead to the opening of the hatch between the Soyuz and the Rosviet module. Okay, so Anton, go ahead. Them so they may not 
Moscow, we are hearing them. You know, they may not, can uh, hear you quite hear. well, so you oh, can provide the running commentary. Uh, so Moscow, please, um, we have completed all the actions as for page 57, the activated SSVP after we Moscow have uh, the 11, the probe is retracted, one. and so the mode is executed, LED, I have, uh, uh, illuminated. To, um, so we also on. recorded all the names of the files in the log, and we are at page 58 right now. Uh, we are checking OKG. Okay, I have you loud and clear now. Copy that. Um, you may. Um, so the pressure in SA 801. Pressure. The hooks are uh, closed on both sides of the docking interface. That now confirmed uh, through telemetry from the Russian Mission Control Center. So uh, the Soyuz MS-19 safely at port. And a Russian actress and her producer director are on set at the International Space Station for 12 days of movie making. How do you copy us? Copy. Moscow, this is S31. So after the five minute measurement, this SR pressure is 801. In BO, it is 826. And in the instrumental compartment, it's 893. The delta. So we expect to have it. Uh, in SI is zero, and it is a one in the instrumentation compartment, and the next measurement will be taken in 15 minutes. Okay, now we will have to wait for 15 minutes. Maybe uh, the comm will resume, hopefully. Okay, so, Alec. Can you relay to Moscow that we have completed 57 uh, page actions and now we are on page 58. Uh, the five minute measurement uh, is complete. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, crew on board uh, the Soyuz, Shkaplerov, Parasild, and Shepenko, uh, now uh, evaluating uh, all of their systems following uh, the docking of the Soyuz to the International Space Station's Rosviet module. It was conducted manually by Anton Shkaplerov, but, uh, and a few minutes behind schedule, but the docking occurring at 7.22 a.m. Central, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time. The docking probe uh, retracted as planned. Hooks are closed on both sides of the docking interface. Leak checks at that docking interface will begin a short time from now. Station Moscow. Face to ground one in the blind for Oleg. So in uh, 2022, uh, uh, FYI, uh, we should have a, a stable we did combat the in about two minutes. So Moscow Station. We will have to do a transition route to the trench. To ground one, this is Oleg. Um, uh, I think it will be easier from now on. 64 and Electron, um, you were saying something about that, but I couldn't understand what I need to, to do that. You know, we the EV have needs some kind of instruction for the activation uh, position to uh, electrical control mode. Okay, if I heard you correctly, uh, electron needs to be switched to Okay, so the backlight unit should be stowed. Yes, we will do that. Astri Moscow, how do you copy? Anton. Yes, I copy you loud and clear. I copy you loud and clear, Moscow. Moscow. Station, we are one. at page 58, standing by for 15 minutes to do the leak check. So after five minutes, there were no issues. How do I you heard copy? I report about the EV. Uh, do you copy uh, us? That it's, uh, How are things? In electrical control now. So after the docking, and, um, what did you do again? Anton? 
Um, I work on page 57, uh, they activated the headlight with close-up of a um, one, like you to and uh, started checking, uh, the, uh, doing the leak check. The After five to minutes, a we to M uh, uh, didn't have any issues, and as a result, there was zero, and in the instrumentation one. compartment, it was one. Anton, I know that uh, I have a great job. You know, yeah. uh, there, there are some people who would like to talk to you. We will prepare the com from Baikanur. Okay, go ahead. I'm ready. Anton Nikolaevich, Anton Nikolaevich, this is Rogozin uh, speaking. Can you hear me? Do you copy? Yes, I do. Congratulations with the successful docking, Anton. You and, of course, uh, Yuli and Klim, we were uh, observing uh, you from Baikonur, so the State Commission also is congratulating you. We wish you to start uh, your mission uh, challenge of with of successfully. Thank you so much for your congratulations and greetings. How are you feeling? Uh, how is your mood? Everything is great. We managed even to uh, to do some shooting, uh, filming. Uh, yes, and uh, uh, actually, you know, she looks well. I mean, Yula. Yeah, it was a little bit uh, dramatic at the end. Uh, you know, uh, just for your, uh, you know, in order f uh, for your uh, movie to be more dramatic. Yes, that's, uh, we thought that uh, as much. All right, now uh, get ready for uh, the operations, and uh, now Konstantin Vovich will be talking to you. How are you feeling, guys? Feeling great. Everything is good, uh, and I can confirm they are feeling well. Uh, uh, Mitri Alegovic uh, has already said that the situation uh, was created, you know, for your purposes, uh, that, uh, as if there was an agreement for that. But when, well, when you start uh, filming and the camera starts operating, you know, you don't have anything, uh, any other option but to act. So how is Yulia feeling? Well, she is uh, round, a little bit uh, puffed, but uh, she is very beautiful. And nevertheless, uh, we had beautiful sunsets and sunrises. Uh, so we looked at the, out of the window a little bit. Uh, it was a... a breathtaking view. Guys, the whole country and uh, uh, even the whole world uh, was uh, watching, uh, you know, uh, observing your flight. Anton uh, was great. So what about our kids on the ground? How are they? Your kids are fine. Don't worry. Well, this is the most important thing. We are also feeling fine. Uh, so, you know, the kids sometimes are uh, uh, much more reasonable uh, and behave better in these situations than adults. Yes, I agree. So, so Mishustin, the Prime Minister, is also congratulating you, and he said that he uh, watched the launch, and uh, so uh, President Administration representatives also are sending their regards. Uh, so you have a lot of responsibility upon your shoulders. 
Uh, so I think that you will start uh, your adaptation and uh, adaptation to the weightlessness and we'll start working uh, as per your schedule. You don't have much time, actually, and uh, we will be standing by for the results of your great work. Again, congratulations. Uh, uh, and uh, we wish you success in everything and, of course, uh, to successfully transition to the station and start working. Thank you so much. Congratulatory words uh, from Dmitry Rogozin, the head of the Russian space agency Roscosmos from the Baikonur Hotel at the launch site in Baikonur, Kazakhstan, almost four hours after the Soyuz MS-19 launched to the International Space Station, culminating a two-orbit rendezvous just a few minutes behind schedule as Anton Shkaplerov took over manual control of the flying of the Soyuz due to some communications issues in the home stretch of the approach uh, for the contact and capture to the Rosviet module. All of that uh, ultimately successful with docking occurring at 7.22 a.m. Central Time, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time as the Soyuz and the International Space Station flew 260 miles just north of the Philippine Islands. The uh, docking probe was retracted to form a hard mate, hooks closed on both sides of the docking interface, and leak checks at that docking interface will take place a short time from now that will lead uh, to the opening of the hatches, enabling uh, Shkaplerov, Russian actress Yulia Parasild, and her producer, director Klim Shapenko, to enter the international outpost for 12 days of movie making. The propellant 488, the first vertical tank 81, second 243. Copy, that's propellant. The time of the uh, docking mechanism engaged is approximately 15.21. SEPCA or docking mechanism engaged, 15.21. Copy. Now I'm at page 58. Uh, I have instruction on the display after the docking mechanism engaged. So the LED is not illuminated. The KDU repress is not illuminated. Uh, ISN and uh, navigation equipment is not illuminated. KSP command signal matrix. Uh, I am tra transitioning to the KSP right and uh, waiting for your go to do the transition. Astrea, MCC, Moscow. Moscow, come again. So it's a go uh, to uh, transition to MBS, uh, headline com. Uh, it is page 58. Uh, could you please repeat? Is it a go? Yes, it is a go. So I'm releasing the push to talk buttons uh, and transition to MBS, headline com.